Julia just died three minutes ago. And according to the law in the book, it is appointed unto all men once to die, and after this, the judgment. Therefore, mercy and grace, what do you have to say about the life of Julia when she was on earth? My name is Mr. Grace. I know Julia very well. I know her very, very well. So many times the Heavenly Father sent me to her that she may repent of her sins and turn away from her wicked way. But she wouldn't listen. She had in her heart. She said that I should even encourage her to continue in her sinful life. This is when she normally says that I have come to her to give her liberty, to give her chance to enjoy more of the pleasures of the world. But so many times I explain to her the purpose why the Heaven Father have sent me to her. It is for her to change her way and be conformed to the image of the Heavenly Father. But Julia wouldn't listen. She had in her heart and misinterpreted my visitation to her. So many times she heard the gospel, the gospel that will have conformed her. I repeat it again, so many times that she had the privilege to hear the gospel that will have conformed her to the image of the Heavenly Father. She called it the gospel of bondage, legalistic, and give the gospel so many abusive and irritating names. Oh, it is very sad that Julia had so much opportunity to, to, to have repent of her sins, to change her way and give her life to the Savior. But with all my efforts to ensure the safety of Julia so that she may be saved, she rejected all. That is all I have to say about Julia. My name is Mercy, a messenger in the heavenly kingdom. I know Julia very well. I know her very well. And do you know how I know her? So many times the Heavenly Father sent me to her so that she may repent of her sins and turn away from her sinful life. She rejected me and cast me away. She hardened her heart against my instruction against my warning so many times she will have died of heart attack even in a car accident but because i was sent to her by the heavenly father she did not die at that time despite all my struggling and striving that julia may repent and turn away from her sinful life she refused and cast me behind her. She rejected me, insult me, and abused me all the day of her life. Julia, do you have anything to say? <laughs> what, Mr. Grace and Messi said about me is very funny. Honestly, it's very funny. I'm a born again. I give my life to the Savior. In fact, I pay my offering regularly. I go to church regularly. 
and my workers in my church. I contribute to the mission field. I help the orphanage. I do good work. I pray every day. So, are you trying to tell me that I am not born again? Are you trying to tell me that I have not given my life to the Savior? Grace, tell me. When do you come to me that I, I despise you? Mercy, tell me. When do you come to me that I reject you? You must be very funny. You must be very funny. You are saying nonsense. I am a child of God. I am a daughter of God, a daughter of Zion. How dare you speak to me like that? How dare you say I despise the grace given to me? How dare you say I despise the mercy given to me? That's all I have to say. Julia Conscience, what do you have to say about the life of Julia when she was on earth? I am Julia's Conscience. I am here to testify to her rebellious life. Of a truth, she attended church regularly, but she denied the Savior with her lifestyle. In spite of my constant warning and rebuke, but she said, I am resolved to persevere in sin and follow the maxims and custom of those around me, though it costs me the lust of my life and exposes me to everlasting damnation. I am resolved to reject the Son of God. I will not embrace him as my Savior or have him reign over me. I am resolved that I will not accept the pattern which God presents to me in the gospel, though it cost Jesus' his life to procure it. And I know I must eternally perish without it. I am determined not to submit to God's way of salvation, and I consent to be lost forever. I have made up my mind, and I will never consent to receive a free salvation by faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. I will not have it. I am resolved to reject God's message, to strive against the influence of his love, to dare his justice, to defy his power, to refuse his mercy, to brave his threatened wrath, and to harden myself against all his invitations, expostulations, exhortations, and promises. I am resolved that I will not bow to his authority, yield to his entreaties, believe on his son, repent of my sins, love his name, or obey his precepts. I am determined that there shall never be joy in heaven among the angels of God on account of my conversion. I will never desert the rank of Satan, give up my sinful practices, ask for mercy at God's hand, or take up my cross and follow Christ. I am resolved to keep on on my own wicked course, to persevere in my present sinful path, to associate with my carnal companions, and if it secures my eternal damnation, then let it do so. I will not receive salvation on God's things. I will not stoop to be saved by grace alone. I will not take the yoke of Christ upon me and engage to be his subject and servant, even though heaven and all the glories of eternity will be secured by it. Please, can you check the record written concerning the life of Julia? Yes, my Lord. Julia was born in 1958. She was born in a Christian home. Her parents taught her the way of God, but she would not listen. She is a thief. She is a liar. She is a fornicator. Although the committed attendance of the church. She goes to church regularly. She pays her tithe regularly. But she is a chronic sinner. She hates the work of righteousness. She is full of pride and arrogance. She gets angry a lot. She lied a lot. She bears false witness. Immorality filled her heart. She lost. She have envy. Oh, so sad. Even though grace was given unto her that she might repent and give her life to the Savior. But with all this, she continued in her ways of rebellion and sinfulness. She refused 
to acknowledge herself as a sinner. And as save the offer of grace, she despised the gospel. She despised the warning of the Savior. She killed her conscience. And for this purpose, she was given up to a reprobate mind, to do things that were not convenient. She thought her life was right with God because a false preacher in her hometown deceived her, telling her she is safe. So far, she paid her tithe regularly, even though if the pastor refused to repent, himself will come here and suffer for all eternity. But well, that is not an excuse. It is appointed unto all men must do that. And according to the record I have here, Julia is a sinner. She has never visited Calvary for purging and the salvation of her life. Therefore, my Lord, all judgment belong to you. Do at this is you. Julia, you have deceived yourself, thinking that you are safe. But it is very sad. You are not safe, you are a sinner. There is no record of your new bed here. And for this purpose, here is my judgment. You are not worthy. You are not worthy to live in the heavenly kingdom. Therefore, I sentence you to life imprisonment in hellfire, after which you will be cast into the lake of fire for all eternity. For as many who are flattering themselves like you, who refuse to examine their salvation, who refuse to genuinely give their life to the Savior, such are also coming here, and they shall be cast and sentenced to life imprisonment in hell, where they shall be paid, suffering, regret for all eternity. This is the hour, this is the hour, this is the hour for you to change and examine your salvation. Do you have a genuine salvation? or a counterfeit salvation. Don't be a foolish man at the brink of eternity because if you die with such a false hope you will go to eternal burning in hell. Repent and the Lord will have mercy on you. You are doomed forever. Ha! 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 You are doomed. You are forever lost. Forever, 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 you are waste, foolish Julia, you are lost, eternally lost, every sinners who refuse to repent are coming here, ha, 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 Remember the time when in darkness I wandered on the mountain of sin. I had traveled so long, like the prodigal son.